Croatian police officers escorting yet another trainload of refugees and migrants to the border with Slovenia. This part of a big operation to ensure thousands are sent on their way into Slovenia every day, regardless of whether the authorities there are ready or willing to receive them. Sympathetic villagers here provide a little nourishment for the journey ahead. So this is it. Once they cross this bridge, a few more steps and they are into Slovenia. But what the Slovenian authorities are saying is that Croatia is simply dumping thousands upon thousands of refugees and migrants on their border. The Slovenian security forces soon pick this group up. But there's no transport. They now have to walk 10 kilometers to the nearest camp under the watchful eyes of armed police and soldiers carrying automatic weapons. This hostile reception, perhaps deliberate, because the Slovenian government insists it cannot cope with this large influx into such a small country. But the Croatians say they'll continue dropping as many refugees and migrants as possible on the border, not least because of fears the numbers arriving in this region from Greece may soon increase dramatically. It is uh, 9,000. 11,000 and then now we can expect about 30,000 people in the next few days here. Meanwhile, the group walking through Slovenia is finally approaching a transit camp. But they're greeted with jeers from the refugees and migrants inside. The camp's already full. Others shout to us that they and their children are hungry. If ever there was a need for European countries to coordinate their approach to the migrant crisis, it is now. Richard Galpin, BBC News, in the Balkans.